Hello everyone, it's Adarsh Upadhyay and today we have another interesting smart DVD set. So today we have the smart DVD pinball machine, the smart DVD stem steam pinball machine. So I already owned one of these and it's, I don't know where that one went, but this is an extremely fun build and an even more fun experience to play. So this is ages eight and above. It, it teaches you about levers, uh, momentum, and uh, let's see, energy transfer, nice. So let's take a look at the back and then we'll start opening and we'll have time ups. So science, technology, engineering, arts, and math, STEAM. It even has some nice logos for each of them. So we have five wooden sheets and one plastic sheet. We have 23 colorful balls, one richly, instruct, uh, instruct, richly illustrated instruction booklet, the instructions. We have 172 loose parts, including rubber bands, and we have one colored wooden sheet. So we also learn about levers and their types. This is the pivot, that's the effort, and that's the load. I've recently learned about that in school. So let's start by opening it. I have my trusty sword. So we've opened it. Once again, very nice clear plastic wrapping to make sure that nothing happens to the box inside. Let's just trash this in the dustbin. So yeah, let's open this box. Wow. <laughs> That looked majestic. So we have this cardboard piece. We have these green colored, um, these green colored washers, I believe, and some other paper pieces. Let me put this in the trash as well. We have some rubber bands, even more rubber bands, way more rubber bands. Just some more rubber bands. And we have these other washers, these plugs and the hook. We have the instruction booklet. It looks different from the last time I had this. We have the dear parent letter. So I'll just give that to my dad. We have the clear plastic pieces. We have the foam and cushion pieces. We have some O-rings and some marbles. We have these balls, even more balls. And we have the wooden sheets, including this one big play sheet. So let's put this aside. I won't trash it, let's just put it aside on this side. So let's take a look. Let's open these wooden sheets and see what's inside. So, Again, clear plastic to make sure that if something happens to the outer box, the inner sheets are fine. Oh, my sword flew somewhere. So we have sheet six, sheet five. We have sheet four, sheet three, sheet two, and sheet one, which is the big field. So it has R and L, right and left, marked on it. So that's interesting. And plus the, some of the sheets have this plastic covering. So let's begin the time-lapse and let's start building in three, two, one.
So I've completed the right module, left module, top module, bottom module, vault A refill and the vault B refill. So I've assembled all of these and now um, I'm going to combine them along with this play field to make the pinball machine complete. So let's continue in 3, 2, 1. So I've completed the assembly of the different parts of the Smartivity pinball machine. Now I'm going to show you how to use it. First of all, you have to tilt this up and make sure that the balls over there kind of settle down. Yeah, the balls here, they have to settle down. Now you have to take this refill vault A, place your finger, I'll have to um, turn it, place your finger here match the arc and the ramp and fill vault A. Now put the vault A refill back. Then make sure that this small gate over here, make sure that it's closed. And uh, yeah, so now, yeah, this is the reset game. Now what we're going to do, I'm gonna show you how to play the game. So you're gonna take one ball, you have marble and steel. So steel is kind of like, yeah, steel you can use later and marble you can use anytime you like. So it's up to you what ball you want to use when. So this is the basic game. You're gonna take two of these poppers and place them into any two random popper slots. So I'll place one there and I'll place one here. So just one thing, beware, the poppers, they launch into the air. So yeah, um, I, I set up the poppers. Now I'm going to turn this towards my side. Hopefully you're going to be able to see it. So you launch the ball and you try to hit the poppers off. Each popper consists of 10 points and you have to try to hit the balls. Oh wow, I hit the second one as well. So now I'm just, oh, almost. Let's just get that. If it does that, then you just relaunch it. I'm scoring tens, trying to score tens. So once I once I'm done with this game, I'll show you how to do the points evaluation. And after that, I'll teach you how to use, uh, how to do the expert level pinball machine game. So I'll also be reviewing some other cool toys like the hydraulic plane launcher, the hydraulic crane and etc. Like some other ones like that. So please um, stick around and, oh, I lost a life. Now you have to take your second marble Oh, it just popped back here. So now I have to score the red balls. Oh my god, I almost lost a life. Oh, that was... That hit there. All right, so now I'm gonna continue. The, oh, I almost lost a life. That was kinda scary. Oh, okay, yeah, nice, nice, nice. Nice, okay, so launch, and I have scored. So I actually had one more ball, that was the game ball, so I, I just removed one ball. So uh, if you take a look at the back of the instructions, somewhere here, it says that it's, it tells you the point evaluation. So 
There are nine red balls. Each red ball is 10 points, so that's 90 points. Then there are um, there are a couple of uh, yellow balls. Each ball is five points, so the sum is 65 points. So 155 points plus these three balls. Let me just check uh, how much one ball is. So yeah, I think it's around 10 points plus, yeah, the popper, each one of the poppers are 10 points. So 175 points and plus the number of balls you have remaining, uh, it has 10 points, I guess. So yeah, so that's how you play the beginner's level. But now I need to get the poppers back. I so now I'm going to teach you, I've got all the poppers back. Now I'm going to teach you the intermediate level. So first of all, we're going to reset vault B and A. Like I told you, vault A refill. Kind of jam. So nine of those. Now you're gonna see that there is a rubber band here. So you're gonna put that around like that to make sure it doesn't auto reset. And even here there are two rubber bands which you're going to use like that to stick. So you're gonna do that because this is going to be kind of a longer game. So you're going to take all of the five poppers and place, yeah, five of them and place them into each of the popper slots. And yeah, just oh, I accidentally auto reset. So, just, so I've set all of the poppers. I've reset the game, and the rules are the same. You take a ball, you launch it, and you have to destroy the poppers. Each of the poppers is ten points. So you have to do that plus scoring points. The point scores are the same. Each popper is worth 10 points, so that makes 50 points a subtotal of all the poppers. And uh, each red ball is 10 points, each yellow ball is 5 points, and each remaining ball is 10 points. So, um, yeah, I'll just put this back. I'll reset the game and I'll put the poppers back into the popper slots over here. So that is it for today's video. Thank you very much to firsttoys.com for providing me with, again, another smartivity set. So please go to firsttoys.com, shop over there, buy some toys. There's a big sale going on, the launch sale, which gives you 15% off on the toys you buy. And it also gives a very fast delivery. I received one of my packages in like a few days. So, thank you very much to firsttoys.com for providing me with this. Please go to firsttoys.com and shop. And uh, I hope you liked this video. Please like, subscribe, and share this video to a friend if you really liked it. Uh, please buy the Smartivity set, uh, the Smartivity pinball machine. I actually really liked this. I had one of these before. Um, but yeah, there were some, like I lost a few parts in this, so there were some, uh, like I had to remove some parts from that. So apart from that, this was a great Smartivity set. Nice packaging. Again, nice detailed instruction booklet, along with the text at the bottom. So thank you very much for watching this video. And yeah, bye, see you next time.